The volunteers and first responders meeting tonight for a prayer vigil. Casey Hathaway on the minds of everyone working to bring him home. Not your size, Dominique Moody attended that vigil tonight. Volunteers from across the state gathered here at the New Haven Community Center to pray together to comfort one another while the search for three year old Casey Hathaway continues. And the people have come to fix my with united voices and clasped hands. We're doing it again. Parents and children gather to pray for family, longing for this bright smile to be reunited with his family. For Michael Seabrook, this sad occasion hits home. And I've got a three year old son, and he's also got blonde hair, looks to be about the same size. The father sprang into action as soon as he got word about three year old Casey Hathaway. I told my wife when I saw her, I said, I'm going to go head over there. I think I'm going to go help. Like other volunteers, Seabrook is determined, even leaving his family to help another. It's cold. You know, there's a little boy out there, and, and that's what everybody wants to do is try and find him. I thank you, Lord, for the love of the Organizer and youth pastor Jonathan Ipok also weighing on the meaning behind the vigil. We just wanted to come together to show our support one for another and my heart goes out to them. Yes, many volunteers are restless, cold and anxious, yet they all agree on one common goal, bring Casey back home. The support has been great. The community, you don't even realize something bad happens and people just come together. I mean, the whole community, cars lined up on side of the road and all the people praying. We're going to find him. These volunteers are set to wrap up beginning tonight at midnight. From there, they are going to pick it up tomorrow morning beginning at 730. In Craven County, Dominique Moody, 9 on your side.